Good morning. It's Friday, May 28th, 2021. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled Barnabas, and our scriptures Acts chapter 11. Meanwhile, the believers who had been scattered through the persecution after Stephen's death traveled as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch of Syria. They preached the word of God, but only to Jews. However, some of the believers who went to Antioch from Cyprus and Cyrene began preaching to the Gentiles about the Lord Jesus. The power of the Lord was with them, and a large number of these Gentiles believed and turned to the Lord. When the church at Jerusalem heard what happened, they sent Barnabas to Antioch. When he arrived and saw this evidence of God's blessing, he was filled with joy, and he encouraged the believers to stay true to the Lord. Barnabas was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and strong in faith, and many people were brought to the Lord. Then Barnabas went on to Tarsus to look for Saul. When he found him, he brought him back to Antioch. Both of them stayed there with the church for a full year, teaching large crowds of people. It was at Antioch that the believers were first called Christians. Barnabas is one of the Bible's lovely characters. His name means son of encouragement. The entire ministry of this friend and fellow laborer of Apostle Paul was spent as an encourager. From Gentiles who had no idea what the Messiah's birth, life, death, and resurrection meant, to bearing the burden of bolstering the courage of John Mark, a failed coward who just needed a second chance. And that piece of encouragement cost Barnabas dearly, having to separate from his other friend Paul, who wanted nothing to do with Mark. Barnabas's unselfish loyalty to being Mark's supporter resulted in Mark being around long enough to write the second gospel. Some things are worth the fight. As I look back over my life in serving Jesus, if I regret anything, it's that I couldn't have been more like Barnabas. If ever there was a gift sorely needed, especially in this culturally polarized culture, it is encouragement. I've had plenty of encouraging friends over the years, people who are like Barnabas to me. My chief encourager has always been Elizabeth. My bride has always seen me at my best and worst, and she still believes in me. Makes me know for a fact that miracles are possible. Dr. Don McCutcheon is a friend of 30 years, and he's encouraged me more than I deserved. There have been so many. I recently discovered another Barnabas. He's just turned 10, but this next-door neighbor's son seems to have gotten a full measure of how to think of doing for others. We came home the other day and found a rock on our front porch. It was a work of art, the art of spreading God's love and thoughtfulness. It was also a day I needed an encouraging moment. Some time ago, I found out from my little encourager's dad that G prays for me regularly. When I was 10, my prayers were that Santa would remember to bring me what I wanted on Christmas. This child is light years ahead in spiritual development. And I blame the parents. <laughs> These neighbors take seriously their responsibility to train a child to trust God and serve others. Their lives show that. Barnabas, son of encouragement, we all need one in our life. And a whole army couldn't hurt. Even more... We all need to be one in someone else's life. For you today, have you ever wondered what it is that God had in mind when he put you here on earth? Well, whatever else it was, you can be a Barnabas while you're waiting. Everyone needs some of that in their life. And you just might meet someone today who needs a God loves you rock on his front porch. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.